Yes, I go back way, way back there to when um, scurvy was a public health problem. Scurvy, people get it. No one knows why. Hmm. That's interesting. What is it about this scurvy thing? Back, um, back when, 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 uh, before people knew what scurvy was, really, or, or the cause for scurvy, or how to cure scurvy. That's how far back I go. Um, when people just got scurvy. <laughs> what is scurvy? <laughs> Turns out it's, uh, well, of course, oranges, citrus, uh, it's a type of acid or whatever. Anyway, um, discovering that, finding out what that was, and making sure that the public uh, did not get it. Um, I go back that far. So, get out your little history books and see when scurvy was discovered, okay? Then soon after, you'll see me um, fixing that. As in paying people to go figure out what the hell was going on and why it was a problem and how to make sure it's never a problem again. <laughs> Slash Smackdown! Anyway, yeah. So, well, I mean... I can't exactly have my employees getting scurvy, could I? You know, I mean, that's not exactly... You're not exactly a good, effective ruler if, um, <laughs> if you're able to get scurvy and die. So, um, yeah, figuring out what that was and then solving it. Um, and then making sure that, that, that everyone gets citrus or oranges or some sort of um, scurvy-preventing thing. Um, back, back, back way long ago when people just got had problems, but no one knew why. Um, that was, was, was all part of like um, my reign or whatever, or my, my time, you know, uh, keeping my employees, my people from getting scurvy. So yeah, well, you know, um, and a lot of other things, basically d discovering of everything, diseases, um, Leprosy, all that stuff. I mean, everything, basically. Um, you know, and, and solving it. The iron lung, all those things. So, um, you know, to run a successful civilization, you got to be able to deal with everything. So, <sighs> to start with, solving scurvy, solving diseases, repairing limbs, or at least giving people peg legs, um, prosthetics, all that stuff. Um... I paid for all that stuff and and then would sell stuff. You know, I, I think pig legs might have actually been for sale at one point in time. I know it's not exactly good to, to, to be uh, making money off of other people's um, uh, problems, but I kind of had to pay for it somehow and pay for research into it. So there was a time when people had to spend some money for a pig leg, but it's just a piece of wood. You grind it, done. You know, so small price, but anyway, later on, you know, I offered it for free because it's like, well, I'm already rich, so yeah, certain things I could give for free. It's like, okay, everyone gets a free peg leg <laughs> in their lifetime. Uh, anyway, this is a piece of wood, and but 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 there was a fair amount of fitting the peg leg um, on and stuff, and I think I might have included that in the purchase or something like that or, or something. You know, I worked it out. You know, I tried to be fair about it, but I mean, you know, I mean. I could I could only take on so much at a time. You have to understand that 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 I mean I was taking on mines, mining, all that stuff. It wasn't until later on when I had diamonds, when I had all these other factories and companies that's like, okay, now I'm good. I can go ahead and 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 bleed a little bit. I can go ahead and spend a little. I can go, you know. But the first I was getting this, getting that, and being very very careful with my money or with my or with what I, what I did. So there was, you know, selling peg legs. There was a lot of little stuff that, that I was like, okay, I can do this, I can do that, I can do this other thing, I can get that, okay, I'm good. And then just move, slowly moving through it all, um, you know, and not overextending myself. Because there was a point in time when, when I was worried about overextending myself. And then after that, after I got some security and I was good with a lot of companies, and I was like, okay... I got all these factories, I got all this money rolling in. Okay, now I can start to be frivolous. Okay, so free peg legs, blah, 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 blah. And include fitting or whatever, or, or, fit, or fitting with peg legs and all that. Anyway, though, there's more to it, of course. So anyway. But yeah, you know, scurvy, all that stuff. You know, I did a lot of stuff. You know, I mean, um, you know, I was a very popular guy. I, I, I really, um, or a kid. I was a child at the time, so. 
and I tried to be as kind and good as I could possibly be, but <clears throat> any any anybody who's rich knows, like, you know, you can, you can get overextended. Um, of course, back then, it wasn't so much money. It was more like just money was... I mean, at first, you know, well, I mean, there's always money and popularity and um, and how much you could you could invent or do. And, you know, I just kind of wrote, wrote it to the top. I mean, I was all, well, I mean, I invented it all, a lot of stuff myself. I invented 200, I solved 250 problems myself or 500 or 2,000 problems on my own. And then after that, I mean, technically, I think at some point in time in the past, I solved 2,000 problems. 400 or 1,200 things all by myself. Just like... <laughs> done. I love to solve problems. I eat them up. So, at some point in time, I was a problem-solving uh, person or entity. And I solved a lot of problems. And then after that, I was like, yeah, okay, I'm going to relax now. Solved all those problems. Ah, been there, done that. And then I just paid for things to be done and solved and all that other things. So anyway, I don't know. It's confusing. It's weird. And then and then I get into uh, Rodney being like, "It's the people's money," oh, and and telling out telling me how he's gonna steal all my money or, you know, it's just like, whatever. You know, money's relative. I mean, you know, it's really what what gave me money or or influence was really the things I solved, the amount I did the good I gave to humanity. That's what really did it all. I mean, <laughs> I was just that good. And we and the world was, was that different. It was a completely different world. I mean, like I said, when, when I was, you know, I, I'm before Rodney. I'm before all that. I mean, Rodney wasn't even born when, when I was just getting into my existence um, and solving my problems. He wasn't even around. There was no Rodney. There was no... There was no America, there was no any of that. You know, there was nothing, really. There was me and the problems that faced my people. And me solving those problems. Anyway, so... And then many, 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 many moons later, or years later, you have Rodney and his stupidness. And Rodney originally was, was a comedian with a, probably Rick Bush or whatever, a two-person act or something like that. I don't know. It's stupid. Yeah, you know, and um, and then him becoming a problem for me. Um, anyway, I don't know. You know, it's one of those things that's just like, ugh, another problem. <laughs> I've dealt with a lot of problems in my existence. So, um, you know, and dealt with them, and then eventually I just got tired of it, and I was like, I don't care anymore. I'm done. I'm ready to die. So, but yeah, you know, I mean, when scurvy used to be a problem and everything else, and leprosy was a problem that... When the when humanity faced all problems, I was there solving them, fixing them all. So I fixed a lot of them, and then I paid for a lot more to be fixed. So anyway, it's all old and it's sad. Nobody remembers. Nobody cares. That's fine. But anyway, 